Hi, my name is uh, Joe Kramer. I'm Director Emeritus uh, Program Development at AICHE, and today I'm going to be interviewing Dr. Marcus Schauer, head of a production site for BASF in uh, Monfe, Switzerland. Um, Marcus has uh, presented the uh, Tuesday Spring Networking uh, presentation, a, a luncheon presentation, uh, entitled Never Underestimate the Importance of People. Um, He's a very interesting guy because although he's a native of Switzerland, he's really a very international person. and He, he loves interacting with people and horses and dogs and sports and, and food. And he spent a number of years in the United States, um, or nearly 15 years in, in the U.S. working for BASF and, and Siva Geige. So, uh, hi Marcus, how hi, are you? Um, now, what is your passion about your topics? Because I sense that you do have that. Yes, indeed. I, I really have a passion, and specifically when it comes to people. Uh, I really uh, believe very strong people are the most important part in the success of any uh, company. And so from that point of view, as older as we get, uh, I get really passionate about people. Your title of your talk is really intriguing because many times these talks have technology in the title and, and you mention people. Can you expand on that a little? Yeah, uh, <clears throat> the people, uh, of course, is the base of any organization, but uh, it is kind of uh, interesting how many organizations, they talk about people, but in fact, uh, they really do not pay attention to uh, the detail, how they would like to treat the people, how they organize it, how they form their team. And uh, even though everybody would like to have a high performance team, uh, then at the end they try uh, uh, to uh, <coughs> find uh, uh, solutions uh, and uh, they apply then all also methodologies, uh, for instance like micromanagement and, and then and then they, they really lose the, the importance to uh, be very uh, consistent with what they uh, would like to do with the people. Now you mentioned high performance teams and I know you're chairing a couple of sessions on Tuesday afternoon on high performance, uh, high performing teams. What's the difference in a target aim between a high performance team and a normal team? The difference I, I think is very simple. Uh, the difference comes uh, when you truly would like to have a high performance team, uh, then you also have to lift the consequences. A high performance team, for instance, needs the resources. They need the proper support. And sometimes we have the tendency then at the end not to give the support, not to give the resources. Uh, uh, then when it comes, for instance, to motivation, we know we should motivate our people, but are we really doing this and are we doing this the right way? And there comes a really big difference that we sometimes frustrate our people and consequently uh, do not create a really high performance team. I was a project manager in the industry for a number of years, and I know that I couldn't, couldn't always handpick my team. So how do you how do you handle that when the, when the real world starts imposing on your, your plans? I think number one, you have to to accept the people you get. When you get in an organization, you cannot just say, "Okay, here I am. Okay, now I change everybody, and therefore I form my own team." That's that's impossible. So therefore, number one. Be very clear, look at your people, look at the potential of these people, and then live with them. And then only the extreme you might adjust. But when we, we always complain, you know, my team is, is not the best one, we get nowhere. Okay? So <clears throat> specifically when, when we have, let's say, younger uh, colleagues who now get an organization, they get a responsibility uh, for a team, then they should look at this and say, okay, uh, I, I take the, these guys and they look very carefully, is this the right position each individual has and then uh, uh, they can really set, let's say, the base for the success of what they intend to do. So don't cry, just make the best of what you do and, and, and you'll get a better result. <laughs> Absolutely, it? yes. Now, you know, many chemical engineers uh, don't get an awful lot of training in, in managing people or interacting with people. I know I didn't. So, um, what, what suggestions you might you have for a new manager who's just getting started in, 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 doing, in managing a team? That's, in fact, a, a real challenge. Because as a technical person, normally you are very good 
in left brain, so in the logical brain, uh, you, you learn uh, to, to believe in numbers and figures and data, okay? And human beings are not that way. They are more geared toward uh, right brain. It means they have emotions, they have feelings, and then that. So therefore, if you come as a newcomer and have, have suddenly to lead a, a, a group, number one, try to be humble, try to understand what is the need of these people, just have the guts to listen to your stomach, to your heart, and then you will start to, be, to see and can feel that uh, uh, people are something really nice and uh, if they do not overpower and for sure not start to do micromanagement, they will be uh, really in good shape. What final point do you want to uh, leave with our listeners today uh, about your, your presentation, your philosophy of management? Uh, Number one, I'm, I'm very happy to, to have the chance to, to come here uh, to Austin and uh, have a chance to talk uh, about the right brain presentation. Uh, I hope, and that's uh, my personal uh, belief and, and hope, that uh, some of the listeners will, will come and they probably uh, get a little bit shaken up and then uh, they will say, okay, uh, probably we have some picture I can take home and then they try at least to apply what, what we discuss all, all day long. And uh, then I, I, I think then we uh, achieved our, our target. So from that point of view, I, I think our uh, two sessions, we have the one at, at the luncheon and then later on this afternoon uh, could be a very nice platform uh, to, to really explore a little bit a new view or let's say a different view and the managing the division of the AICAG is, is an excellent platform uh, uh, to, to, to really explore these topics. Well, I want to thank Dr. Schauer for speaking with us today, and I, I look forward to interacting with him in the future as uh, with respect to AICAG's management division. Thank you. Thank you.